And we are here at the Antonov Airport, which is about 25 kilometers, 15 miles or so out of the center. These troops you can see over here, stand up, Lewis. These troops you can see over here, they are Russian airborne forces. They have taken this airport. They've allowed us to come in and be with them as they defend the perimeter of this air base here, where uh, helicopter-borne troops, these troops, uh, were landed in the early hours of this morning to take and to form an air bridge to allow for more troops to come. And you can see these are Russian forces. You can tell they're Russian. I've spoken to them already. You can tell they're Russian. They've got that orange and black band to identify them as Russian forces. I've spoken to the commander on the ground there within the past few minutes, and he said they are now in control of this airport. And within the past few seconds, just before you came to us, they were engaged in a firefight, presumably with the Ukrainian military, which says it is staging a counter-offensive to try and take back this, this, this airport. We can tell you now, I'm standing outside the perimeter of this Antonov Air Base, and it has not been taken back by the Ukrainian military. It is the Russian military. You can see them now moving back uh, to a different position. It is the Ukrainian military who say they are now in control. This is about, I would say, about 20 miles from the center of the Ukrainian capital. And so it just shows us now for the first time just how close Russian forces have got towards the center of the Ukrainian capital. It's not just, I've been to officials earlier, Ukrainian officials, and they're saying that the plan isn't just to surround the Ukrainian capital. They fear now that the plan is to take the capital, to decapitate the leadership of Ukraine, and to replace that leadership with a pro-Russian government. That's what Ukrainian officials are telling us now they think is the Russian plan. And I can tell you, um, it is a very tense situation. We're expecting to see Ukrainian military force. We didn't even know, frankly, we didn't even know that you know, the Russian forces were going to be here. We assumed this was the Ukrainian forces. So I went up to speak to them saying, hey, we've come from Kiev. You know, but it only emerged during the conversation that they're all Russians and there are no Ukrainian military forces in sight, although I can hear them uh, because they've been shooting ferociously in the post of the past few minutes and so we're sort of in the defensive position behind this wall here you've got our car here with the crew here as well um, you know as the uh, Russian airborne troops uh, defend this position that they've taken on the outskirts of Kiev